major challenges in Asia this year is certainly capacity uh, and it's something that we hope to be able to aid in the future. The strategies that we've got is an introduction and hence the reason why we're here uh, in Singapore at the conference is to give the, the wider audience in Asia the understanding of what is actually out there in the market using something that's unique and game-changing. The growth potential is um, excessive. Uh, today we have 1.1 gigawatts of power uh, up to under contract and uh, that's not including Asia. So we certainly see that there is a future market for growth. The key markets for growth, um, obviously Asia is a, has a growing economy. Um, it's coming out, it seems to have managed the recession and uh, it's, moving, it's moving positively forward and uh, obviously you can't do much and get much inward investment until you've got a reliable uh, grid system producing electricity. Partnership opportunities will be with uh, state utilities, private IPPs and large uh, power consumers. Uh, that's who will be uh, partnerships with for future bit for futures going forward. Positioning yourself uh, for Asia, we're well positioned around uh, Africa and the Middle East region where we currently have the 1.2 gigawatts of power on rent and now we're looking at positioning ourselves across Asia. What's our plans? Our plans are to deploy uh, power generation uh, power ships similar to this around uh, the Asian countries that are in need of additional capacity, uh, that are capacity constraint and where demand is increasing beyond what's being installed. The conference so far has been good, uh, the venue has been enjoyable, Singapore is a lovely country to come back and visit to and it seems to be a good hub for working out towards the greater Asia.